In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what I would argue is probably the best concept in all of football. I think it's definitely one of the better concepts in Madden for sure. We're going to show you how to run this out of the air raid offense or out of the spread offense. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that every single day we upload new videos that can help you become a better Madden player. So by subscribing, it just allows you to keep updated with that. Now, today we're talking about the Y cross passing concept out of the air raid offense. Now, really quickly, before I go too far, I do want to let you know that I have an air raid offensive guide. If you want to get all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, they're all available in my Patreon. The cool part is you get access to all of them for just $10. So just by joining the Patreon for $10 a month, you're going to get access to everything. You can always cancel if you don't enjoy the content or whatever, you you, you know, whatever. But uh, again, that stuff's all linked in the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to join that in the description of the video. But in this video, I want to go over the Y cross concept in Madden and how we can make it really, really effective. So what I like to do with this concept is I typically like to actually be on the opposite hash mark. Um, so I want to run my crossing route from the short side of the field to the wide side of the field. That's how I like to run this concept. And then secondly, what I like to do is I actually like to take the tight end on this play and re-crosser him. And the reason why is because the default crosser, if you take a look <clears throat> at this, it only goes about 15 yards. A curl flat defender can easily cover that. But when you put a hot routed crossing route on here, what you're going to notice is a significant difference. So you see how much deeper this crosser is. Now, instead of it going only about, you know, 10 to 15 yards, now it's going to go a minimum of 30, probably even 40 yards down the field. And if you have a good uh, crosser, it can get over the top of deep zone drops and things like that. So that's pretty much the only thing that I change on this. If you take a look at this running back route, it's one of my favorite routes in Madden. And the reason why um, is just because of how good of a route it is. Um, you can hot route a wheel route, but what you'll notice about this flat is it's going to kind of cut up field at the edge there, just like that. Now, obviously, you wouldn't throw it if there's a hard flat defender, but just kind of wanted to point that out. If you want to wheel route him, you can. Okay, so, you know, if you want to wheel route him, you can. You can also do a quick out um, if you think that would be more helpful. And then what I like to do with Godwin is put him on a zig. You don't have to, but I do like it. Um, and the reason why is let's say you're facing a cover zero blitz and they're going to shade their coverage up. What you can do is if they don't press you, that zig route will pretty much always be wide open against man to man. Now, if they do press you, chances are they're not going to be blitzing you, but let's just say they do. So let's say they do press you and they're going to blitz you. What you're going to notice is obviously you could try to just trust your running back route, but you also have this little fade. So if you get that pressure, you just take a step back. You got a fast receiver there and you can oftentimes outrun the defense just by throwing this fade over the top. So again, I'm going to show that one more time and I'm going to press my coverage so that I can stop the zig route. But now I won't be able to stop this fade. You're gonna see right here. See how he just kind of gets that release. And Brady gave me a little bit bad, a little bit of a poor throwing animation. Let me show you that one more time. But again, you know, obviously we have better uh, beat the press. Um, he'll be open a little quicker. You could just hit the running back on an out if you want to. I like to put the running back on a wheel because the wheel is so good in this year's game. Um, but anyways, you're just going to fade. See how you just kind of bat over the shoulder outside leverage and you're going to be able to bomb almost every press man unless they have safety help. Well, if they have safety help, now you put them in a position where they're not going to be able to blitz you. So let's say you get a press look and it looks like this where they can't, but they really can't blitz you from this one. Now, this is where you're running back wheel. You're just going to low ball that, click on, make a catch. The wheel route out of spread this year is really, really, really effective. Um, it's, it's, you know, probably the best it's ever been in terms of how this is going to play against man. I'm going to show it to you one more time. So this is just press man. You'll see right here, just low ball, click on, you're going to aggressive catch it. You see how the guy doesn't, he's not going to react to it. If you don't like that, um, that wheel, um, maybe you don't like the timing of that or whatever. Let me just show you in man coverage. He's just going to get this little glitchy separation and you can typically hit that little flat route. Uh, or basically treat this out route like a flat. So you get man coverage, you're ready right there, and you just get the ball out of quick of your hands. Now, I want to tell you something. I'm actually going to probably be running a lot more spread. I actually really like the way that the spread offense can just space the field and just get players open. 
Now, again, zone, you have high lows all over the field. Notice real quickly that if they don't shade their coverage down, meaning they don't put a hard flat on the field, um, I'm going to be able to just take this all day. That was a cover four. Here's a cover three. I can just take this zig all day, and five yards, I can maybe make a spin move or whatever. So then when they decide, well, you know what, we're going to go to cover two, and we're going to shade coverage down because we're tired of you throwing zig routes. Well, now this is where you got a little bit of a checkmate because now this little guy over here is going to get open with an outside pass lead uh, to that side. So you're able to beat that. Uh, another coverage that this does a really, really good job at beating is a cover to sink uh, where your outside cornerbacks are in soft squats. What's going to happen is they're going to actually bite down on this little whip and I can throw this with an outside pass lead just like that. As you can see, this fade is really, really glitchy at a Y cross. It's one of the many reasons why this is such a great concept. Okay, but we really haven't even hit the bread and butter of the of this concept. And this is maybe for like a cover three, for example. And that's this Y crossing route. You can hit this route at multiple points within this play. You can hit it here. You can wait and hit it here, which is one of my favorite places to hit it because let's say for example, that they have 30 yard zone drops. So let's say that you're facing kind of a cover two and you know they're really kind of doing some kind of a bend but don't break style uh, or approach to their cover two and it looks something like this. Well, what you're gonna see now is I can hit this crosser there and then I can also wait and hit him you know, deep on the sideline. Obviously got shedded like crazy, classic practice mode, but let me show that one more time. So again, this is just like a traditional um, kind of Mabel if you will. And if you're getting a lot of Mabel coverage, you can lowball that right there. It's really hard to pick that off. In this year's game, with the way the outer reach animations work, it can be very difficult to intercept this pass. Um, another thing about cover three sky here, or cover three, let's say for example, they kind of shade their coverage, uh, backed off, so maybe, you know, whatever, they cover the zig or they manned up or whatever. Um, well, now you're gonna be in a position where if they're mabling, you can hit that right in that little area and hit that there, or you could wait till that gets all the way to the sideline. So let's say, for example, they're going to Mike Blitz three and they're trying to double Mabel. Well, now the whole middle of the field is open, so I can hit that crossing route at multiple windows. Another one of my favorite routes to hit is this little hitch or this little curl. Notice how the wheel pulls the zones out of the way and allows me a really nice little window to hit Mike Evans on this little, um, this little sit route and I'll show it to you against cover four here. Again, you see just kind of sits in the zone perfectly. Now against man to man, um, you're gonna throw this as if it was a curl route, okay? We have a lot of routes on the play that beat man, but this one also, so what you can do is just kind of low ball it. Um, there, I got a bad animation. But, you know, obviously you're gonna read it, you're gonna hit other routes. But let's say, for example, they're running something like a Mike Blitz Zero, they're shading their coverage up so they don't get bombed, but they got some underneath zones as well so they can stop zig routes and wheels. Now you get that animation where you aggressive catch it and you can cut that off and keep the offense on schedule. So, you know, this is just one of my favorite concepts in all of Madden 22. It's really simple. If you need to block somebody, um, you certainly can. Like, if you need to block your running back, you certainly can do that. Um, I don't like to. I actually think as a five-out concept, this is really, really good because you can hit the flats on both sides. You have a curl route where if they play hard flats, now you can hit your curl. You have a crossing route, so they have to have zone drops on. Um, you have that fade on the left so that they, they can't really play uh, cover two or they can't really play you know a traditional style uh, of cover two. You're going to see here how this fade just kind of fades to the outside. And then I can hit my crosser because that fade's going to pull all the zones back. So, again, a very effective little passing concept here out of the spread. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get all of my Madden 22 ebooks, we've got 15 offensive and defensive guides available. If you want to get access to all of them, the air raid is just one of 15 other ones that we have released this season. You get all of that and all the updates, anything new that we do, just by joining the Patreon for $10 a month. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description of this video that you can go and click. It'll take you right over to the website. Thanks for watching, and if you're still watching and you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down below.